Good evening, friends. Tonight we're making these wispy lantern ghosts. Despite being very simple, the effect is so eerie and fun. I purchased my supplies on Amazon and I'll leave those links down below. But you can find most of these at your local dollar store. So you're going to need white paper lanterns of your size choice, cheesecloth or some sort of gauze, black construction paper or foam paper, flickering LED tea lights, scissors, and fishing line or string. So put your paper lanterns together. If you've never done this before, it's super easy and straightforward. There are instructions included, but there's nothing to it. Next, I took the gauze I found. Um, I was looking for a cheesecloth and I ended up finding this really cool gauze instead. It is sold by the yard. So I'm taking mine here and kind of figuring out the length I want and how many layers I think it needs. And once I'd kind of decided on the look I liked, I just gave it a rough chop. You want it to be messy and stringy. And it kind of is frayed naturally, so you really don't have to do a lot. All I'm actually doing is just trimming some of the yards away to have the right length. So as you can see here, I'm going to be adding a second layer to get the look I want. Now that that's done, I'm just cutting out some black ovals shapes for the eyes and the mouth. Do whatever you want. Because the lanterns are so round, I thought that oval shape elongated the look a little bit. So here I'm just placing them underneath my gauze to kind of figure out where I wanted them. I'm also fluffing out the gauze, kind of seeing the look I'm going to like. And once I had done that, I used clear packing tape and taped them on. This is going to do two things. One, it's going to hold them in place, but two, it's going to kind of, you know, just weatherproof them a little bit. These aren't really rain safe, so you're not going to want to leave them outside in a storm, but it helps. It also gave the eyes a kind of sheen, which was creepy outside. So next, I'm just slipping those little LED candles inside of the lanterns. I found that two worked the best. You don't want it to be too bright, but you don't want the effect lost. Then I added a little bit of packing tape on the bottom to keep the candles from falling out. And that was it. And there they are. I just strung them to our trees outside using a little bit of string. Fishing wire works best because it's clear. And how fun are these? I love the little wispy pieces of fabric blowing in the wind. I made sure to cut the black eyes and mouths big enough that you can see them from a distance. And the overall effect is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more fun content. Until the next one, happy season. Bye everyone.